coordinate geometry, very important mathematical concept and extremely important when programming in Scratch. The Scratch screen or board is an XY coordinate grid. 480 pixels across, 360 pixels up and down. The way I like to remember it is X goes across and Y tells you how high. X is across and Y is how high. All right, so now you need to know that the middle X is zero and the middle Y is zero. So zero, zero is the exact middle of the screen. So to move to the right of center, we have to have positive x from positive 1 to positive 240. To move from the left of center, it's negative x from negative 1 to negative 240. And to move up from center, it's positive y between 1 and 180. And to move down from center, it's negative y between negative 1 and negative 180. Every pixel on the board has a unique coordinate address. So let's create a little program to illustrate this. So this is how the program works. It will first prompt us for the X coordinate, then the Y coordinate. It will then travel left or right to the appropriate X coordinate and then up and down to the appropriate Y coordinate. It will then, in the form of a say statement, tell us what its coordinate is. Let's test 120X and 34y. Okay, first thing we're going to do, as always, name the program. We'll just call it XY Grid. All right, to set it up, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put an XY Grid as my backdrop or my stage, and I'm just going to put a dot as my sprite. Okay, the stage, I'm going to click it, I'm going to get a backdrop the library other and you get the XY grid and okay next thing I'm going to do is delete this cat right click delete I'm going to draw a new sprite use the ellipse tool make it filled black is fine hold down Shift, create a perfect circle, and just make sure it's in the center. Okay, now we're ready to program. So the first thing we're going to do is start this with a flag click. And to initiate our sprite from motion, we're going to always start it in the center. So it's always going to go right to zero, zero, as soon as the flag is clicked. X and Y has to be stored somewhere, and we're going to do that through variables. So under data, we're going to make two variables. Make variable, we're going to call one X. For all sprites is fine. Make another variable, Y. Now we're going to obtain from the user the X and Y, and we're going to get this from the S command in sensing. And we need two of these. So what is, what's your X and what's your Y? All right, so we're going to ask for the X, and now from data, we're going to set X to equal the answer. Now we're going to do that exact same thing with Y. Equal the answer. Okay, so now we're going to use the glide command to have our sprite move. So the first thing we want to do is maintain the zero Y and move along the zero y to the appropriate x. So we're going to get our glide command from motion. 
we're going to make the y zero and now the x will be the user's input and now we'll move up or down depending on the value of y once again using the glide command and now we know we're at the right x so we're going to keep that x and then move to the appropriate y let's let's watch that happen flag we go 89 and then let's do 54 okay that works now we just want to display that coordinate so when we want to create a compound statement a statement that includes both text from the keyboard as well as variables we need to use the join statement so I'm going to create a join statement with a bunch of blanks here let me show you how I'm going to do that our say statement has five characters so I'm going to build the join command first so we go to operators I'm going to empty the join command. I find a lot of hello worlds make it confusing to me. So there's two. I add one. There's three. There's four voids. Five voids. Now I can fill in my statement. Open parentheses from data. X. Separated by a comma. Y. Close parenthesis. Now I want my sprite to say this in a speech bubble. So I'm going to get the say command. I'm going to put this compound statement inside the say command. I'm going to go to my data and uncheck the X and Y. And then test my program. Negative 120x, 75y, 76y, 134x, negative 95y. Beautiful. Test it one more time. 56x. 74y very good program works